colorful blooms brighten the room in Saratoga, California during an annual chrysanthemum show hosted by the Bay Area Chrysanthemum Society. They've had it going for 10 years. Club members get to showcase the result of their passion, patience, and care. My father used to grow show chrysanthemums, but then, uh, you know, when I, as I grew older, I was busy with life and, you know, family and job and things, and then when I was close to retirement, happened to um, see the first show of, of this, which was in Santa Clara, and I was just like, this is my opportunity. The goal of the club is to promote cultivation and preservation of chrysanthemums, or mums for short. Not everybody likes the same flower. I mean, I might like these open center daisies. Uh, somebody else might like the balls. This is called a cushion variety, and somebody might like that. Mums come in many different shapes, colors, and sizes, but they are divided into 13 classifications. This year, a panel of nine chrysanthemum judges determined the best flowers. The best of the best are displayed at the head table. So one of the things you have to, they have to look for is um, the stem has to be straight. The flower has to be the size it should be. Because some of these may be all very good, but the size is small, then they won't like it. But the color may be faded, and it should be a fresh bloom. So that is one of the things that's really important for shows, is that, um, that you have to have it, its peak. You have to time it so that the flower is at its peak. To produce show-worthy flowers, growers need to grow a variety, have consistent watering, fertilize a lot, make sure it gets sunlight, and there are no bugs. The biggest thing about show is that you have to do what's called disbudding. You have to remove, all of these have little buds coming out of there, and if you didn't remove them, they'll be in a big, you know, bunch. And, uh, and then, so if you remove those, then the center flower gets all the nutrition and then it grows as big as it can. Chester Unciano, co-chair of the Chrysanthemum Show, joined the club in 2018 and has been growing mums since. This species here is a Houston species of an of a irregular, incurving kind. So uh, it's a class one variety. And it's class A because it's a bigger variety. The growing season starts from cutting in April until blooming in late summer or early winter, around October. It's the discovery of new cultivars and, and how to get better from, from growing them. And uh, just the diversity of the plants makes you keep going. The process is uh, very enjoyable and very fun and I love to grow flower and it's a rewarding that like I got first prize for this one. Woolman bought the plant from a sample sale and had no idea it would grow to be a unique flower. I did not know how it looks like until I saw it this week. <laughs> it opens up this week, I just saw it. And I picked that because the name, nobody can spell the name, and then it's exotic. And also it's an imperial, Japanese imperial flower, the symbol. Growers tend to grow more in hopes that at least one is presentable. Therefore, people can submit multiple entries. I never knew that chrysanthemums could turn into a bonsai. So this is my first year um, trying chrysanthemum bonsai. So I enter four of them. When you create something that's really good, it has its own satisfaction. So it's a journey really, not just the last day. Although winners only receive a ribbon, seeing people's smiles is their greatest reward. There's this lady on a wheelchair yesterday. I think she was being wheeled in by her granddaughter and she, she saw the blooms out there and she was pointing the, the yellow bloom, pointing the yellow bloom. I want to take a picture of this and this and this. So I was like, oh, that's cute. The nonprofit is funded by their cutting sales in June. The club consists of about 100 members. Eileen Ang, NTD News, California.